Hey, what's up guys? Zyro here, and I have another battle for you guys. This match is another gym battle, actually, against a flying gym leader known as Pink Emina Diane Pie for the Callus Badge. So, before I even get into that, I want to update. I want to go over a little update. So, originally when I said that there are nine, nine gym leaders that I have to battle, that changed. One gym leader got promoted into Elite Four status, and one Elite Four member, uh when uh, one elite four members step down so basically everything is like a normal pokemon game with eight gym leaders and four elite four and there's no cha champion slot though but that's my slot so anyway uh eventually one day so anyway um another thing is i did take get the poison badge uh, otherwise known as the toxic badge from the poison gym leader but he asked me not to upload the video so basically, I'm going to do two narrations in one video. Now here's a narration for the first match between the Poison Leader. He used Poison Pokemon. He used Poisonous Stuff. My Pokemon got poisoned. There was Shoryukens. There were Ice Shards. There was All Yang. There was Latias. There was Espionage. And... Uh, there was... It was Epic, and I won. And that was basically it. Um, it was a great match, though. Uh, so now, this match here. Um, I actually lost to her twice. This gym leader, I lost to her twice. The first time was a triple match, and my espionage had a different hidden power. It had a random hidden power that just completely took me by surprise, and it screwed me over so badly. The second time, it was a double battle, and I made one mistake that took out two Pokemon at once, and I lost. So this is, no, now we're in my realm, the single battle. And, well, let's just get straight into it. So anyway, she starts out with her Star Raptor, and I go into my Kitsune, because, you know, I want to let the sun shine. I want to get that drought up. And the thing is, I don't want my Kitsune to stay, so I switch out of my Kitsune, and I go into my Leafeon. Because Leafeon's going to be the most useless one here, so I Death Potter off Leafeon. I'm sorry, Leafeon, but... You know, Leafeon's not going to do much here. So, her Star Flag uh, takes a ton of damage from Recoil, or a bit of damage from Recoil. And anyway, I go into my Oh Yeah, because I know one Ice Shard is going to take down her Star Raptor. And that Star Raptor does go down. Oh Yeah. So, next Pokemon she goes into is her Togekiss. I'm not afraid of the T-Wave, because I have, um, I am a Ground type, and that's not going to affect me. She goes for the Aurora Sphere. And it takes a chunk out of my HP, but oh yeah, it's still looking okay. So I switch out of my oh yeah, and I go to my Latias because Latias can take uh, an Aurora Sphere pretty well, and it takes it like a boss. So I switch out of my Latias because I know she might go for the T Wave now, and I go into my Espinosh to bounce back the T Wave towards her. And she goes for the T Wave, and her Pokemon's paralyzed, so that ruins her Serene Grace uh, Air Slash plan. And I go for Psychic, it doesn't do much, this thing's a flipping tank. And she goes for an Air Slash, that doesn't do much. So, but I switch out and I go into my Kitsune, take an Air Slash. Because my plan is to try to set up a Nasty Plot, and then try to finish this, this thing off in one hit. But no, she switches out into her Archeops, which I know will outspeed me, and I know has an Earthquake. So I'm like, I don't want my Kitsune to die in vain, so I'm going to switch out into my Latias. And I dodge the Earthquake using Levitate. And so what I go is for a T-Bolt, and the T-Bolt takes down the Archeops. And Archeops goes down. So, next Pokemon she goes into is her Landorus. And I actually go for a Psychic to kind of gauge how much damage I can do at a time. And... I get the special defense drop, which is good, and she go he goes for a rock slide, and Latias takes it like pretty well. Um, so I go for the Draco Meteor because I'm kind of expecting a switch here. So I'll, he protects. I'm like, fine, let me just go for a Psychic, and then she switches into what I didn't want her to switch, and I go for the Psychic, and it doesn't affect her. It's fine because I have rocks up, and it's it's cool. So because rock still does damage, so I go for a T bolt to see if I can. Because I know this thing's a wall, but I go for a T bolt to manage see how much damage I do. And that doesn't work. But it's okay. Latias is not here to sweep. He's actually here to give somebody else a second chance. So, 
Even though I'm poisoned, that's cool. She goes for a toxic. And I go for the healing wish. To get my all oh, yeah to be on full health. She goes for the roost. And she gets her HP pretty much all the way up after leftovers. And I switch into my all oh, yeah. So, all oh, yeah. He comes in. He has like a bunch of HP now. Well, not a bunch. He has all of his HP now. And he's ready to screw things up. But I say, wait. Oh, yeah. Come back. I have another plan. Let's let's try to do some more Kitsune action here. So, next turn, I also didn't want him to get crippled by poison, too. So, next turn, I go for a Hypnosis. I want to put that thing to sleep. And next turn, I go for, after turn after that, I go for a Nasty Plot to get that plus two special attack. And I do, and the Mandibuzz is still asleep, and things are looking great. So, then I go for the flamethrower to uh, pretty much gauge how much damage that would do. But either way, it would be a 2-hit KO, so I, then I would just go for the 2-hit KO. Or try to go for the 2-hit KO at least. Maybe she might switch, maybe she doesn't. Let's see what happens. Um, she takes it pretty well. And now she decides to switch out. And she goes into her Togekiss because she realizes Togekiss is, is kind of useless at this point. There's no point kind of leaving it there. And, you know, I would have made the same move. And... Togekiss goes down, but so does Kitsune. But that's okay. Kitsune, you did your job. You did it well. So then I go into my Flame 8 because I want to Short Yukin something. And look at that. It's perfect. So I go for the short Power Up Short Yukin. And here we go. Short Yukin! And that Mandibus goes down. So next she goes into her Glide Score, trying to see how much like uh, damage it'll do. I know she's going to go for a Protect, and I know Glide Score has a bunch of defense, so I just go straight into Espionage. And she got the Toxic Orb going on, and I go for the Psychic. And Psychic does a chunk load of damage, but it doesn't take it out. Doesn't quite take it out. Lives by a Slither of Health, and it has Poison Heal going on. She's going to withdraw it. I don't know why, when she could have actually just used Protect and then withdrawn. But it's okay. I mean, it's Checkmate here. Either way, it doesn't matter how many times she will Protect, it'll be Checkmate. So, Espinosa is just going to Psychic the Landris. Landris goes down. She goes back into Gliscor. Gliscor uses Protect. It's okay. And I go for the win with Psychic. And that's the game. It was a good match. Good match. And now I have the Callus badge. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, comment, sub. I know I like that match. I would have liked it if, you know, it was me, a viewer, an awesome viewer watching this. Because you guys are awesome. Anyway, see you guys. One more badge left. One more badge. I have 7 out of 8. I'm doing good. See you guys.